Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about simulation and analysis of integrated onboard charger for two-wheeler electric vehicle. This example shows how to model an onboard charger for a two-wheeler vehicle by using an AC to DC converter and DC to DC converter to achieve the unity power factor operation and constant current battery charging. Let us see the model. Some small introduction about onboard chargers for two-wheeler electric vehicle. Here, an onboard charger for a two-wheeler electric vehicle is a, is a device that is used to charge the battery of EV while it is in use. The onboard charger typically includes a power electronic converter. What is the use of this power electronic converter is which converts the AC power from the power grid to the DC power required by the electric vehicle battery. The charger also includes a control system which regulates the charging process and ensures the battery is charged in a safe and efficient manner. Here there are different types of onboard chargers are available in marketing. It includes offboard chargers, onboard chargers and inductive chargers. What is offboard chargers? These chargers are separate from the EV and are typically plugged, in, plugged into a standard electrical outlet. The EV is then connected to the charger by using a cable. Then the next one is the onboard charger. These chargers are integrated into electric vehicle and can be charged while the EV is in use. They are typically more convenient than offboard chargers but they are also more expensive. Then the third one is inductive charges. This type of charges are using magnetic induction to charge the battery without the need, of, need for physical connection. They are becoming more popular in two-wheeler EV market also. Then this is the MATLAB Simulink model. This is an overview of onboard charger for two-wheeler electric vehicle. <coughs> it includes grid, two-wheeler electric charges uh, block includes onboard chargers. That is a we are using total pole converter and DC to DC converter and the, the third, third part is a battery, battery part and this is a measurement plan panel shows the DC bus voltage and uh, charging current and charging voltage. These are scopes are available here. Here the specification of the onboard chargers are power 1 kilowatts, AC voltage is 230, frequency is 50, intermediate capacity voltage is 400, battery voltage 60 volt, battery capacity is 50 ampere, then battery charging current is 16.67 ampere. Here is the circuit for the onboard charger. It includes a totem pole converter, isolated full bridge converter. This example compresses the three main components. The first one is the grid, onboard charger and EV battery. The charger is rated 1 kW, 230V and 50 hz The EV battery is a 60V, 50A, 3kW lithium ion battery. Here this is the intermediate capacitor. Here, here you go, intermediate capacitor and battery charging current are maintained at 400V and 16.67A respectively. For a two-wheeler vehicle, this example models a AC to DC converter by using the totem pole converter instead of a boost PFC converter due to its higher efficiency. The converter is rated 400 volt and 10 amps. To provide galvanic isolation between the battery and the grid, this example uses the isolated full bridge converter. Then the, the frequency inverter is connected to the primary side of the transformer is rated at 400 volt and 6 amps. The diodes connected to the secondary side of transformer are rated 150 volt and 20 amps. And this is a small uh, introduction about this totem pole converter. This, this figure shows the circuit for the totem pole converter. The totem pole converter is a derived topology of boost PFC converter and it achieves higher efficiency compared to all other uh, boost power factor uh, converter derivative topologies. Here a totem pole converter is a type of power electronic converter that is used to convert DC voltage to AC voltage or vice versa. It is called a totem pole converter because it uses two power transistors, one is on state and the other one is off state connected in series. This creates a totem pole configuration. There are two main types of totem pole converters are used, used here. One is PWM to total pole converter and PF, PFM total pole converter. A, a PWM total totem pole converter uses a switching circuit to control the amount of time that the transistor spent is the on state. This allows for precise control of the output voltage and current. The next one is a PFM totem pole converter. It is a pulse frequency modulation based this one. It uses a switching circuit to control the frequency at which the transistor switch on and off. This allows a less precise control of the output voltage and current but it allows for less power loss. Then the important part is isolated full bridge converter. This figure shows the isolated full bridge converter. Uh, this example's model DC to DC converter by an isolated full bridge converter topology. This double ended topology and has higher power capability. You can model the isolated DC to DC converter with three fidelity level available in this model. 
ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் த ஆவரேஜ் ஃபெசிலிட்டி செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஆவரேஜ் ஸ்விட்சிங் அண்ட் ஃபைனல் ஒன் இஸ் த ஸ்விட்சிங் இட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் ஆவரேஜ் ஃபெடிலிட்டி திஸ் வேரியன்ஸ் அச்சீவ்ஸ் ஃபாஸ்டர் ஸ்டிமுலேஷன் டைம்ஸ் வித் ஸ்லைட் ரிடக்ஷன் இன் அக்யூரசி இன் ட்ரான்ஷன் ட்ரான்ஷன் கண்டிஷன் திஸ் இஸ் த டிஃபால்ட் ஆப்ஷன் தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் த ஆவரேஜ் ஸ்விட்சிங் திஸ் வேரியன்ட் யூசர்ஸ் ஆவரேஜ் ஸ்விட்சிங் டு அச்சீவ் எ ஃபாஸ்டர் சிமுலேஷன் டைம் யூ கேன் யூஸ் திஸ் ஃபெசிலிட்டி லெவல் வெரிஃபை த ஆப்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் த கன்வெர்டர் அண்ட் தேர்ட் ஆப்ரேஷன் இஸ் மோட் இஸ் ஸ்விட்சிங் மோட் யூஸ் திஸ் வேரியன்ட் டு கால்குலேட் த கன்வெர்டர் லாசஸ் அண்ட் டு எஸ்டிமேட் இட்ஸ் எஃபிஷியன்சி ஹியர் இன் திஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ கேன் சி த கான்ஃபிகர் டிசிடி டி கன் கன்வெர்டர் மாடல் இஸ் ஸ்விட்சிங் ஆவரேஜ் ஸ்விட்சிங் அண்ட் ஆவரேஜ் மாடல் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ இன் திஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ கேன் சி த Uh, estimate the loss and efficiency also by using interactive result explorer simscape result explorer you can analyze each and every block in this model now is a ev battery pack overview this ev battery pack models the battery cells connected in series and in parallel and the sensors that measures the battery terminal voltage and output current the battery is a table based block the simscape it, it is derived from simscape electrical library models that individual cell of the battery pack the battery table table based block the panasonic ncr bd 18650 pre parameterization which is rated at 3.6 volt and 3.03 amps the configuration of the battery is in the battery pack meets the required voltage and ampere power specifications here after uh, running this simulation you can see the totem pole converter output dc voltage and grid voltage and battery terminal voltage and battery charging current and battery state of charge plot seconds get the plot blows shows the dc bus voltage grid current battery terminal voltage and charging current for ideal switching totem pole converter and the average dc to dc converter the intermediate capacitor voltage settles at 400 volt the grid current is in phase with the grid voltage and the battery charging is constant at 16.67 amps and the next one next one the plot shows the dc bus voltage and the grid current battery terminal voltage the average switching variance can capture the switching events of the con- converters during the transient state due to the switching events the voltage amplitude of the intermediate capacitor swings more than the average variant in the previous plot then also you can find out the uh, efficiency calculation for on board charger with a power power versus power versus percentage and total pole converter power versus percentage and dc to dc converter you can see here totem pole loss you can see 12.82 slash 1.1 percent and passive loss switching loss conduction loss are calculated and also for dc to dc converter uh, you can calculate the converter losses to analyze the analysis and modify the components responsible for higher losses according to your requirements the in the totem pole converter the calcula- calculation of losses considers the uh, device losses such as connection conduction and Uh, switching loss and passive loss from the inductor in the dc to dc converter the calculation of loss considers the device losses such as conduction and the switching losses and the passive losses from the transformer and the inductor this is all the matlab script for uh, to uh, to load the semiconductor device data also you can specify the grid parameters uh, voltage and rms phase voltage and frequency and sensor parameters temperature of uh, totem pole converter controller parameters and inner loop parameters outer loop parameters are given in this matlab script here this is a uh, dedicated for dc to dc converter box and dc to dc converter fidelity and battery pack and the efficiency estimations this is available by using this scopes we can see the output for uh, totem pole converter and state of charge etc then by using simscape result explorer we can see the left hand side these are a model in this model there are so many blocks are there in this blocks we can see anywhere 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 in that model we can analyze with this help of the simscape interactive result explorer now let us see let us see the model these are a working model of this one now we can choose this open charge configuration script to load the data and configure dc to dc converter block and switching average there are three minor three configuration of dc to dc converter is there switching average switching and average you can also estimate the loss and efficiency you can see the simulation result by using simscape result explorer by pressing the uh, run button you can see 
see the scope see the scope of this totem pole converter output dc voltage and grid voltage here itself you can see the trace selection of this one here this and there is some options are available dc bus voltage this one dc bus voltage is a trace selection block and uh, charging voltage is your charging voltage and charging current here you can see and state of charge state of charge is available this they, they by using this scope you can see the cursor measurements and also bi level measurements you can also see the uh, peak finder peak finder value you can see here here you can see the peak finder value peak finder value for this particular here you can see the charging voltage and these are these are the grid voltage versus current in the same manner you can see the output by using simscape result explorer here in this model you can see these are the blocks are available in this modeling these are dc to dc converter this is a switching converter here you can, here itself you can see the result from the left left panel you can see these are in this manner you can get the output output of each and every block the power dissipated and and this is diode second diode and these are ev battery section in this ev battery section also you can see the battery table based battery and number of cells in series in this way you can analyze each and every part of this model by using this interactive simscape explorer these are a totem pole converter section in this converter section you can see capacitor and converter is a tp inductor model in this way you can see the output see in the analysis the output these are current sensors and voltage sensor block in this each and every block you can see the output this is a sic convert inverter inverter block you can see this is a junction temperature and power dissipation simulation statics are uh, a zero crossing in this way you can export this figure also by using this um, uh, interactive result explorer you can explore expo extract current plot into a new figure window and also you can say set the markers and also you can see the overlay and separate separate view is uh, in this way you can see is a overlay view the next one in this way you can use the simscape result explorer for this example i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching in this model also available in my youtube channel description section kindly download it and use it for research and study purpose thank you all thank you if you are new new viewer of my channel means kindly subscribe my channel please share and com comment this video thank thank you thank you all